Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Gen channel, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Uh, we've just escaped from the police station and fucking legged it from Nemesis, because fuck, fuck me, he had a rocket launcher. I ain't got time for that. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, so let's get straight to it. So I think this leads up to Uptown. Oh. I didn't see that. I don't know what that is. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. Uh, oh, let's go this way, shall we? Oh, I can't carry any more. It's almost as if I need to go and find a safe point to put some shit away. Oh. Oh. Shit, zombie dogs. Fucking zombie dogs. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. I fucking hate zombie dogs. I am loving the, uh, the lock-on, though. Oh, Another one. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, uh, can't carry it anymore. Yes, I really need to find a safe point. <laughs> Definitely need to find a safe point. Oh, more zombie dogs. Come on! Okay. Okay, what have we got here? Seems to be charging the battery, okay. I can't carry any more items. I really, really, really need to get rid of some items. Please, please, tell me it's a save room. Oh, it's a save room, thank god. Whew. Okay, so I don't need these cards anymore. Uh, I... Oh, I don't think I need the grenade launcher yet. I don't think I need the lighter. Okay, is there anything else in this room? Yes, yes there is. Bullets. I will always happily take some bullets. Anything else? Nope, okay. Oh, more zombie dogs! So many zombie dogs! Okay. No more zombie dogs. Uh, I... No, I'm okay. I don't need to heal. I'm fine for now. Oh, alright. What else can we do? Downtown map. Okay. So we've got the restaurant, newspaper, gas station, trolley. That's quite a big area. Um... Actually, thinking about it now, I should probably go back and get the leads. And just make sure I haven't missed anything back, because I was kind of breezing through it all. Because I don't want to miss on something and have to travel all the way back.
take the power cable. Okay. Nothing useful. Okay, so can I do anything with the power here? Nope, okay, apparently not. Alright. Um well, let's go back out and see if I missed anything out here. Nope, seems like I covered that corner pretty well. Um, doesn't look like much there. We'll just see how... Oh, that's where all the herbs were. Actually, you know what? I might take one of the green herbs. All right, um, so we'll just check the end corner. Is that anything? Nope. Just check this end here because we didn't check this end. Oh, yep. And there's a fire hydrant with a fire hose. With a fire hose fixed with bolts. Okay, so we need something to take the bolts out from that. Okay. Which is fine because we'll need that when we go back anyway, so I'm assuming I've got to go forward to go back, to go forward again. So let's head to the restaurant, I guess. I think that's the first thing we'll hit. Love me some backtracking. Love backtracking. Uh, it's an important part of the game. Is getting the right thing and being in the right spot with the right gear. At least you got the item boxes. At least it's not like Resident Evil Zero where you have to drop items and make sure you got them. That was a fucking pain. That was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Alrighty. So this is where we got the ma oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Oh, what the fuck are they? Oh, I don't like them. Not at all. Well, they're dead though now. It's an important thing. Um, so, okay, so that's where we came from. Anything this way? No, that's where we came from. No, that's where we came from. So where does this go? Hey, I'm here to help. Restaurant, in the restaurant. Hello? Like a table of two? Anyone? Nothing? No one around? Do I have to get my own table here? City Guide! The tracks of our city. Dear citizens, thanks to kind and generous people of Umbrella Incorporated, this is a peaceful and friendly city. Vast donations from Umbrella Inc. have been used for welfare work, for construction of public utilities, and helped maintain public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that, through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal building, create a state-of-the-art hospital. In honour of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with a grand statue that same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. I came to the city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledged to follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to the prosperity. The Mayor of City, Michael Warren. 
Cool. Seems like a nice. Seems like a nice mayor. Okay, so there's a trap door there. Is there sort of a switch over here? Flammable gas is leaking. Okay. And that's a fire hook. Okay. This takes us to... Oh, God! Get off. Whew! Alright, uh, I might use vats now. Oh, shit. Come on, zombies. Okay, now you're down. Oh, fuck me, that piece of paper. All right. Um, no, let's go. Let's go back to the restaurant. Let's search for the restaurant. Make sure we got everything. Because I think I can use the fire hook. Because that's a drain. So maybe I can use the fire hook for something. There's a hole to hook something onto, like a fire hook, maybe. Oh. What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos. Carlos. I'm Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill. Did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Oh, fuck me. Um. Run into the basement. Yeah. I think that's a smart move for now. Oh, fuck. It's a freezer. Okay. Oh, shit. Now what do we do? Oh. Oh, the vent. The vent. The vent. The vent. The vent. What about Carlos? Am I going to leave Carlos to die? Oh no, he can't prove it, okay. Wait, I have to ask you something. I know, you want to ask me out. All the foxy ladies love my accent. <laughs> it drives them crazy. What? Keep dreaming. Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. Okay. We'll have to finish this later. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it. All right, uh, well, let's go and follow him, shall we? We'll go in here at least. See what lies here. Fucking Nemesis is relentless. Oh, it's a safe room. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, and there's something there as well, actually. It's a crank. 
There always seems to be a crank in every fucking Resident Evil game. Don't know why. Just always seems that there is one. Oh, that is a full looking... Sure, I'll take some more shotgun shells. Why not? Why not, indeed? Um... Okay, well, we just... I guess I just need a... F oh, fuck me! What the fuck did you come from? Ah. Uh, alright, alright, I get it, I get it. You're so big and scary. Are you... Wait, are you seriously going to just keep following me now? Yes, you are. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Is he gonna follow me in here? Photo B. Close up shot of a zombie. Says scoop on the backside. Okay, so I need to turn the fireproof thing off, which there's a ladder down there, which means I can push this this way and turn it on. So I think I'm in, yeah, I'm in the, the news, newspaper. So it must be, as long as I'm on the streets, he can just pop up whenever and just screw me up. Um, but I think in the buildings is scripted. There's gonna be a lot of- oh. Uh. Yeah, let's just run into the burning wreck. Oh. Well, I can't go in there, can I? Oh, fuck me. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, zombies, that's what we got. Okay. Ah, the green gem. So now we have both gems. Which means we can go to the clock tower, I guess? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't... I haven't thought that far ahead. Uh, photo C. The police have been destroyed. Simple enough. Reporter's memo. At last I have found the evidence. I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in this city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal tearing away new flesh. It was completely disgusting. I have heard rumours that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the causes of the disease is not yet known. Is this another mystery of the present disease? I will have to check on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people in my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nat nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military has set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I am infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. Okay, uh, is that it? It would appear so. Okay. Oh, fuck, mate. Really? <sighs> Fucking sick of this shit. Oh, thanks. No, get... Nope, 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 nope. Get, get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. <sighs> Man, this nemesis is really starting to piss me off.
Okay, so that's all we need from in there. So we still need a... Hang on, alright. Let's go to the map. So we've been through there, and we haven't been up this way yet, to the gas station or the trolley. So let's go... Oh, there's one... Have we been there? No, I don't think we have. Is it locked? It locks from the other side. Okay. So... Let's see if we can go through there, but I doubt it. Through the left. Fishing hours are from 9 to 17. The gate is automatically closed after hours. Okay. The clock that is not functioning. Two gems are missing. Okay. Okay, so we have one gem. Okay, so we have one gem, so now I need to get the other gem. Which I think the save point wasn't too far from here, actually. Pretty sure it was just here. Uh, and then I guess we can go through that way. Um, just gotta check to make sure that there's nothing else that I can think of that we need. Where is the blue gem? Do we have any herbs as well? I might get them mixed. Oh, just a green one will do. Oh, um, so, have we explored everywhere? We haven't gone in that room, I don't think. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. It's not like Nemesis is going to pop up, is he? Uh, no, we didn't. I didn't go down this way, did I? This pops us out to. somewhere we haven't been? No, somewhere we have been. Have we? I, I'm so confused right now. I think we've... Or have we not been here before? No, we've been here. We've been here before. Oh, no. There he is. There he is. Nope, screw you. God fucking damn it. Fuck it, let's just go through, let's just go through City Hall. Yes, I know you're behind me, Nemesis, okay? I get it. You're unrelentless with your chase to kill me. I get it. I get the point. Just leave me alone. Just trying to do what needs to be done. Yes, I know you're still there. Unlocked? Oh, cool. Awesome. Get through that door. Okay. Alright, well... That solved the riddle of the two gems. Is he still behind me? I think he's given up for now. For now. I'm sure he'll be back in a moment... But, for now, we are all good. Uh, do I want to go this way? Uh, I don't think I can. Oh no, I can. Okay. Leads to the gas station. Which is barricaded. There's a hex-shaped hole. Maybe a crank. Ah. Oh, well, fuck me. Alright. Well, that was useful.
Okay, so now I need a wrench. To turn the crank. So, and I guess I need the wrench as well to unlock the bolts from the fire hose as well. So I guess we'll just go down this way. You alive? You okay? Hang on. I think Nemesis is gone for now. Oh yeah, we're all alive still. Get off. Get off. Okay. Okay, all right. All right, okay. Lonsdale Yard. Hmm. Might as well take some herbs while I'm at it. No, I'm not dealing with you dogs. Screw you all. Strong barricade, okay. So we've got some fire. Uh, so that's not going to go. Ah, oh, the trolley, okay. So that's the trolley. Hmm. Alright, so let's quickly explore the trolley. Mechanics Memo. I know that you are intimidated by your new job, Kevin, so let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages were made in 1968 and been imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simple, stubborn, and strong. We can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, you need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid those nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't find another original part, you better find something that works good enough, even with regard to oil. You must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. Some of the parts seem to be out of order. The power cable is disconnected. The fuse is broken. The mixed oil has been used. Okay, so we need to have... The power cable plugged in. So we need to have oil and we need to have a f You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? Fuse. I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ah. Hey, is someone wounded back there? This looks bad. Oh, they're coming. Get ready. Ah, ah. Fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. Okay. You're safe now. Everything is going to be okay. No, it's not. Of course not. Why would everything be okay? He's going to die. He's going to transform into some big ass fucking boss that I've got to kill, obviously. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But, Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. Mikhail. Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Fine. 
Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. Okay. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Okay. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. What am I putting on? What, what did you give me? Okay. All right. Well, take the wrench. Okay. So now we have the wrench. So now we can go back and get the fire hose, and uh, we can also unlock the petrol station, which I'm sure will have oil. So I think we will leave it there because this is a long one. So if you like this video, please hit a like button below. If you want to subscribe to see some more game gym material and some more Resident Evil Free, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, this is the game gym signing out.